Hey, hey, Tony Gaston here, popping in. Now, yesterday I did a video about, you know, Jezebel's spirit. Now, when you read about Jezebel in the Bible, it's much deeper than the surface level of what I was talking about. I'm more so talking about a seducing spirit and labeling it a Jezebel spirit, not talking about, you know, we, we think of Jezebel as a woman in a red dress. But this seducing spirit can also be on a man. And we call it Jezebel spirit, just like we say soul ties. Soul ties is not actually a word or phrase that's in the Bible. But it's kind of speaking of when the Bible talks about when you lie down with someone, you take a piece of them and they take a piece of you. And so if you come up with a phrase or a term for that, it would be soul ties meaning that this is a transaction and so when you think about this seducing spirit this happens both ways and i talked about it because i see a lot of men marrying women with a seducing spirit and at the same time you will see women marry men with a seducing spirit so from this man, what this man is doing is he is telling lies. He's whispering sweet nothings. He is sucking toes, rubbing feet. He's, you know, doing all this stuff that will be seen as romantic that a man could do, that an honest man could do these same things. But you have to realize with every spirit, there's a duality. So... You could, I could talk to a woman every day as a life coach. And my goal is to help her grow, to help her heal, to help her change her life. I could also talk to a woman every day. And my goal could be to break her down, to weaken her, to seduce her, and to make her think that I'm the greatest man that God ever created. So it's the same action of talking on the phone every single day but the motives are different. And that's what you have to realize about spirits is it's a duality. So a woman can be feminine with pure intentions and a woman could be feminine with bad intentions, impure intentions. A man could be masculine with pure intentions and a man can be masculine with bad intentions. So a man who is a good man, an honest man, could be masculine and he could be assertive in the sense of hey you know i want to go on a date tonight um do you want to go and the woman says yes at the same time a man could say hey i want to go on a date tonight do you want to go but his intention is to wine her and dine her so he can supply her you see what I mean? Put on her back. So one guy wants to go on a date to get to know her, to build with her, talk to her, make love to her mind, grow. The other guy wants to go on a date to end up with a nightcap. And so it's the same action, but it's different intentions. And so this is what you have to understand. I, I noticed yesterday a lot of women misunderstood what I was talking about with a Jezebel spirit and thought that I'm saying, oh, if a woman is feminine, she has a Jezebel spirit. If a woman is cleanly, she has a Jezebel spirit. If a woman likes to dress up and look nice, she has a Jezebel spirit. That's not what I'm saying. The whole purpose of the message is that if a woman is seducing a man to get in position to get his money or to have a child so she can get child support for the next 18 to 22 years, and that is her goal with her femininity, then that's a Jezebel spirit. You would think these things would be common sense, but it's not. People literally, literally, fully and completely grown adults misunderstood what I was saying. As if I'm leading a toxic male culture on YouTube and trying to get men to, trying to make excuses for men and trying to give a man an advantage in the world. It's like, go figure. It's like, you obviously do not know my message and how I challenge men and hold men accountable and set an example for real manhood 
that men hate that I'm setting this example. A lot of men hate that I'm setting this example and raising the bar this high because it forces them to grow and to do better and to treat their woman better because they see the way I treat my woman on a public scale and the way I talk about that. So never ever am I trying to make excuses for men or make excuses for women or give an out or anything like that. So understand with this here spirit, it goes both ways. And I'm labeling it a Jezebel spirit. The same way when Paul in the Bible, in certain scripture, he'll say, this is from me, not from God. That's what I'm saying. This is not the biblical teaching of Jezebel because what she did in the Bible dealt with worshiping Baal, which is another God. And she wanted to have people, you know, killed or she wanted control. She was, she was dominant. She wanted to call shots. It wasn't just a uh, seducing spirit. And so, but for the sake of term, for the sake of a lack of a better term today in our day and time, that's what I call it because that's what most people assume that it means and associate it, associate with it is seduction. And so understand, well, typically what this, what this is, is it's really kind of like a, a, it's a spirit of greed, a spirit of fear, a spirit of lack that uses seduction as a tool. So imagine this woman who she wasn't she didn't have the build or the look that was praised in middle school in high school she had friends she was nice people liked her she was cool but she didn't look like your video vixen she didn't look like your actress she didn't look like your model and so guys kind of overlooked her. They would friend zone her, make her a home girl. They'll use her for a ride home because her mama got her a car right at 16. They'll use, girls will be her friend because she had the best birthday party. She had a pool at her house or, you know, she always had money in her pocket from her, from her mom or dad. So if you go to the pizza spot with her, she paying for you. But this girl socially, her look, her body, her build, her skin complexion, her height, her weight, whatever it is, is not praised and desired by men because men are programmed by the media. So where you see this seducing spirit on a man is this guy comes in and he gives her attention. He may wine and dine her. He may do some things to her that she's never had done to her in that type of way you know romantic good way and his goal now that she's 24 30 35 40 his goal is to have a woman who has money who has a good job he's not really doing a lot in his life he's not really well off financially so having this woman means he's going to have a place to stay he gonna have a nice condo or a nice house. He gonna have a nice car to drive. Eventually after he's touched her body enough and went on enough dates with her and been her buddy to travel the world with her, she's gonna invest in his business idea. She's gonna put money down for him to get his new truck. She's gonna do this and but when, but she knows that Men have not really treated her like that. Men have not really been after her like that. And then, so it's like deep down she knows, but she's so lonely that she wants somebody. And she will get attention from men and she doesn't know that some of this attention, not all of it, some of this attention is for what she can do for a man. The position she could put a man in, the money she could spend on a man. And she convinces herself that nothing about her that is not in line, meaning her height or her weight or her skin texture or quality or her dressing or whatever. She convinces herself that none of that matters. 
she convinces herself that men are not superficial that men are not worried about physical attraction and that her being who she is that this guy really wants her for who she is and she's not taking into account all of the other things that she's doing for this guy that because of her he has a nice place to stay a nice car to drive he's going on nice trips around the world he's doing all of this stuff that he could not do without her without her money and so he seduces her and he treats her like a queen and you see it you will see this woman who is like yes yeah, she deserves love don't misunderstand what i'm saying she deserves love but this particular guy is not the type of guy that will give her that love. The man that will give her that love, she's overlooking him and she doesn't really want him because he's a reflection of her. And she doesn't like her own reflection. So she wants a guy that is not a reflection of her, not realizing that he only wants her for the things that she can do for him. And so this is how the seducing spirit shows up in a man. So you will see a man attach himself to a woman who is going places. Her trajectory is high, but she's not, quote unquote, a looker. She's not, quote unquote, you know, desirable. And this is the same thing that happens when a woman with a Jezebel spirit seduces a man who is not a looker, who is not um, desirable. So I see this woman, she's 35 years old. She's with a guy who is like 65 years old. She's not the cutest thing in the world, but it's a whole lot of men that's 35 to 40 that she could be with. This man over here, he looks like, um, yeah. He looks like that and but here's the thing he's a billionaire so this woman is with this man and she's trying to convince everybody that her at 35 is naturally attracted to this man at 65 this man looked like a mad scientist and you know this a white couple he looked like a mad scientist but she trying to push this narrative. Oh, this is real love. I really love him. No, you don't. You spend $100,000 a month on luxury clothes. That's what you there for. We could see that this man is way too socially awkward for this 30-year age gap, age gap to be attractive to you. But it's... Him saying, hey, if my money going to buy me this, I'll take it. And it's her playing that role. The same thing happens the other way around. Where you see this woman who, <clears throat> the men who would like her, she not necessarily talking to them. And the men who, the men who would like her, she not necessarily talking to them. What's up, baby? Uh, no. You want to do a little something? I'll I, I, I do something with him. I'll start. I'll something. You'll start? Okay. I'm going to finish up here in a couple minutes. Is there chairs out there or no? Uh, no. They don't feel 13. Somebody else playing right now. Okay. Come on. Um, okay. You want me to put the chairs out? I, I just don't know. I think there's another team out there. Oh, cool. um, question for you, though. What time should we leave? Me and him. Because probably it's going to take about, what, an hour and a half to get over there? Probably not that far from Carrollwood. I mean, um... Okay. I would say, like... And he gotta be. He gotta be there. What time? Four. Four. An hour early. Yeah. It's one of them coaches, huh? Yeah. He, I mean, he a winning coach, so I think he might look. And he basically saying it's an hour and nine minutes from there. So if you get at four fifteen, whatever. Okay. Three, or like you say, like halftime, I guess, because at that point, you stay. It's twenty minutes probably to be halftime. Okay. Yeah, yeah, this is so nice. <laughs> Thank you. My sister-in-law had one, but she had one with just regular, yeah, more like yeah. a school bus. And yeah. I'm like, yeah, I don't know, that's not, but mm -hmm. this is super nice. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Well, hey, that goes up to the <laughs>
Yeah. Yeah. Totally fine. Thank you. All right, baby, I'll be out there. Still 13 right there. Oh, okay. In the grass, but his car's gonna be parking. Yeah, but they not. It's, I mean, they ain't coming right now. You just showing them defense. Yeah, and then you backpedaling. Yeah, okay. 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 Close the door for me, right here. Okay. <sighs> Y'all forgive me. My wife about to train my son in football, how to do, how to play defense, how to play cornerback. And see, this is the thing where I tell you about a good woman. And this is also the thing I tell you about gender roles. I'm sitting here shooting a video for the world, for the public, to help people grow, help people recognize spirits, help people not to have a seducing spirit and not to get seduced by a spirit, because it can happen to anybody. And my son got a game today at five, and I'm supposed to get out here and show him some defensive drills, but because I'm working here, my wife, she gonna show him the defensive drills. And then when she finished, then I, you know, tag team, and then she'll go set up the chairs for the game. but. She not so Miss Prissy, or she not so, oh, a woman not supposed to do that. A woman should never. You less than a man if you got a woman, if you got your woman getting out there to play catch with your son. We not on gender roles. We not on gender roles. She capable just like I'm capable. I'm capable just like she capable. I step in when she tied up. She step in when I'm tied up, and we support each other. That right there is a healthy relationship. I want to make that example because I hear women a lot of times who's single and not with no man. I never take out the trash. You know, my wife take out the trash about every week until our son got old enough to where now he take it out. You know why? Because I be sleep. I be sleep because I be up working. I be up working with a seven-figure plan to take care of my, my family so the trash go out at 7 o'clock. My wife get up 6 o'clock. I might not get up till 8 or 9. The trash beating already came. And the night before, don't none of us think about it because we be into each other doing our little thing. And so somebody say, oh, well, you need to take it out the night before. Well, we still got trash going in that night and trash going in the next morning after she make breakfast for them. So that's our plan. And guess what? I, I felt bad about that because of the gender role society put on us. But then I had to realize, you know what? It's time to where as a man, I may have to be at home and be a stay at home dad. When my wife start to build her brand and she do her thing, you know, after our sons go to school, her business or her career may take off and I may be, she may become the breadwinner and I can't get caught up in gender roles. So what I do the other morning, I, I got up before her cause I was going out. I took the trash out because I happened to be up and, and be up before her. So I took the trash out. So I say that to say this right here, what I mean. And this is the thing with the seducing spirits the seducing spirit on a man, he gonna want complete control. He'll come in with less money and end up trying to call shots with that woman money. And that woman will succumb to his seducing spirit and she will let this broke man who ain't never made the type of money that she make tell her what to do with her money but he don't have the character to go out and get it himself. But to tell her, this is what we need to invest in, this is what we need to do. See, I'm a man, a man supposed to lead and he will break this woman back with his seducing spirit. And this woman will lose her whole entire net worth with this here man. He will get her on weed. He'll get her on drugs. He'll get her on depression pills. He'll get her on something to break her down so that he has complete manipulative control over her mind with his seducing spirit. So look at this. A woman should not be with a man and be a drug addict. A woman should not be with a man and have to be driven to drugs and driven to those things and when she got a man in her life that man's supposed to be a support system that man's supposed to lift her up build her up that man's supposed to make her better not worse that man not supposed to let his toxicity come into her life and it's a couple celebrity women that we know of tv show hosts or comedians or rappers to where they let a broke man come in and be their manager and the man ruined deals for them. The man run people away. The man ruined his name in the industry. The man ruined everything that this woman done built because she wanted to have a man so bad, he came in and seduced her and then got what he want out of the situation. This is what I need y'all to understand. These seducing spirits are real. 
and it's on a man and it's on a woman and this is the thing what a lot of people who ignorant don't understand just because i do a video about a seducing spirit on the woman duh the video for the seducing spirit on the man is coming you can't address everything in every video because you need focus on one topic so as long as the lord let me live to see another day it's going to be a video for everything and you can't talk about everything in one video so understand that stop jumping the gun in the comments and getting beside yourself because you're offended and listen to me we're going to do the work and we're going to go through and we're going to address the thing we got to watch for. And yes, a man could be seduced by a woman. And yes, a woman could be seduced by a man. And the key to understand if this spirit is a toxic spirit is to ask yourself, what is the motives of this spirit? If it's not to make a situation better and build somebody up and make them better, then it is to break them down, to destroy them, to control them, or to use them. And that's what you got to understand. Hey, this is Tony Gaskin. God bless you. We'll talk soon.